Hello, this is Mr. Agbamu Itano Grenet. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can draw bearing questions using the Microsoft Word easily without stress. And how do you do that? You just need to have your FFX installed in your system, then integrate it into your MS Word, and you are good to go. Alright, so to start, let's start with a simple demonstration before I will do an example. So go to your FFX, you get your draw, then you come to this page. Okay, so I don't need the grid, let's hide the grid, or you can start with the grid, you can later hide it later. So anyone you wish, but let me just take the grid off. Okay, so bearing is found in this place, you see where you have the mark angle, angle, 180 degree protractor and the rest. So just get your bearing. So click on the screen and drag, you are good to go. You can see the arrow of the bearing, you can see it's looking from where you are moving to, from this point to the next. So since I stop here, just click on the point again, that is it, and drag. You can return back if you wish. Let me return back. So that is it. So I've done my bearing. If you want to do any editing, you can click on the knot, slide, slide this one up. To make it long, you can click on the knot here also, slice this up, so that you can easily see it. If you want to label the point of the bearing, just get your mark point here. So click and drag point A, then click and drag on B, okay, undo this, then if you don't want A and B to be the label, just click on A, maybe you want another alphabet, then click on this symbol, this setting, then you can change the letter to any other letter, maybe P, let me use capital letter P, okay, then if you want this to be Q, click on the letter B, just click on the letter B, click on this setting symbol, then you put your Q. So that is also the bearing from P to Q is, you can see the value, then the returning angle is this. If you want the value of this angle to show, just click on this. Let's see, click on this. Let me click on it again. You can see the value is there 061. Okay, so if I want it to appear, just right click. You will see some settings there. You can see, okay, let's cancel this. Let's cancel this. Right click again, okay. Now you can see add annotate. So you can see there it's been added there. Then move it to where you want to place it. So I want it to be here. So that is that. Just drag it to where you want to place it. You can see it. So the bearing from P to Q is 061 degrees. Then the returning part from Q back to P. If you want to see it, just right click this place. Let me highlight it first. You can see the value is 241. But just right click, then you add annotate. So it's there. Then drag it to where you want to position it. So that is it. So the bearing from P to Q is 061. Then the bearing from Q backward is 241 degrees. So you can see this diagram is okay. If you don't want the other values of the cardinal point, that is the west, east, and south to appear, just click on this. Go to the setting. You can see show north, show cross, show east, west, and south. So let me click this. I don't want others to show. Just watch. You can see them here. As you click on it, it will disappear. So, and I want it to be three digit bearing. If you want it to be this kind of bearing, that is a compass bearing, you can click on this, it will appear there also. Then it's okay with that. 
the same thing here click on the north settings i don't want the east south and west to show and that is that okay so that is it so you are good to go then return to your microsoft you click on this it will enter there and it will come out the way you want it then drag to where you want to position it on your screen on your work so that is it so this is it bearing from p to q you see 61 degree then bearing from q backward to p you can see it very easy to draw without stress you get a good diagram neat and clean okay let me just do a simple question then we stop there so i have a question i've already typed here which says p q and r are points in the same horizontal plane and uh, the bearing of q from p is 150 bearing of r from q is 60 60 then i say we should find this value okay let's just leave that i'm not yet to solve the question all i'm here to do is to bring diagram to give you the diagram of this how do you do it quick in case you are in your classroom you want to do it in your system or you want to draw this using your system you don't want to do it on the marker board you want to draw it using your projector as you are teaching you are demonstrating the question to your student so how do you do it to make it fast for you just go to fx also get your fx draw and you move from there so let me see so we start from bearing of q from p which is 150 all right let's go straight let me hide the grid now okay then get your bearing okay let's turn so 150 should be somewhere here okay then let's label this point if i do that let me extend this okay so we can right click let me right click add my annotate then position it where i want it to be okay it's better here and let me move this point to 150 then stop all right so this is 150 okay so we say bearing from p to q is 150 degree let me label the point p so click and drag then this point you click and drag so the a let me change it to p p then b let's change it to q okay so this is done so we have done the first part bearing of q from p is 150 degrees then let's go back to our microsoft and see the next step so it actually came very far let's take it up to where we need to see our diagram Okay. all right so we have done the first part which is a bearing of q from p so let's see so q from p is 150 degrees which it is then now let's see the next part of the question you see and the bearing of r from q so from q we are moving to r at 60 degrees so r should be around this region then all you need to do click on this edit your work you go to where you are where you stop and continue from there so i get my bearing again click on this click and drag you rise up okay then let's end it here and end it here so that means q from r is what now 60 well let me go back to the question and see what the question says it said the bearing of r from q okay is correct that is uh, from q is 60 then let's edit again from q you see, so this place should be 60 degrees let's click 
make it bigger then you can see this is 39 just right click add annotate position it where you want it to be i want it to be somewhere here okay but i want this point to move is this point i want this point to move to give me my 60 degrees okay then we can now join this point to here then you can drag this one up and i want it to stand why is it turning like this okay all right so we've done this let me see why is this giving me something else can i change the line setting of this line color let's put it as white why is it giving me this in box let me see okay this is background, this is anchor line, okay, rectangular line, okay, let me see, I want it to be zero, okay, okay, so this is off. Alright, so this is the question, then we label this point, this is point R, you click and drag, so R is there, so you have your... So you have your P, Q, R, bearing of Q from P, 150, then bearing of R from Q is 60 degrees. Then every other point, you can change the dimension of the length. If you want to get the length, you can just type it if you wish. But let's go back to the work, to our Microsoft Word, let's see. Okay. So this is it. Then we can put our dimension of length. He said PQ is 5 cm. You can put it PQ5, then QR is 3. So let's just put it, and that is all with this. You can type that if you wish. Let me just type that. So you get your text box here. What's happening? Let's see. Text, yes. Okay, let me see what is the link. Okay, so I have my 5 cm. Alright, so I have my 3 cm. Okay, so just drag it to where you want it to be. So I want my 5 cm to be here, and then I want my 3 cm to be here. Then I want this one to be changed. Let's go back to setting of this. We need our line to be zero. Okay. So I think the work is done now. So we are true with it. Then you go on this. Yes. QR is three centimeter then pq is five centimeter then the bearing from p to q is 150 the bearing of r from q is 60 degrees you can see the bearing diagram very neat and clean and this is your work so this is all i just want to show you in this video how you can use microsoft word to draw your bearing diagram very neat and clean without stress you can see the way i did it without more stress just get your tools you need from your fx software tool then you draw and you move on you can actually prepare your lesson note very fast with this and your work will be easy for you so thank you so much for watching do have a nice day